All right, we got two nematodes here. This one, there are several of these little ones. I wonder if that's a C. elegans. Okay, there's another one. Nematode could possibly be C. elegans. And this is um, a drop of water from the Washington Street Moss. I decided that since it is November, I can start looking for water bears again. So I look at different water from the pond water. Don't find water bears in pond water as much as you do in moss water. It would be lovely to note that that was a C. elegans, considering that they were the first animal whose genome was um, sequenced and they were chosen over tardigrades back in the 90s. They are all over this water along with little condylostomas. Now see, I think that is a different kind of nematode because it's bigger and it wiggles differently. Not as elegant. I wonder if the population of C. elegans is up, if the population of water bears may be down because they compete for the same resources. I'm not sure. But I'm not finding any water bears in this Washington Street moss. And before I did, and now I'm seeing a lot more of these nematodes. Now here's a twitchy little one out of the Washington Street Mule Camp moss. I think it must be a different species too. I don't know much about nematodes, except that they are round worms. They're the simplest animals with a mouth, a digestive tract, and an anus. And so these are all nematodes, focusing on nematodes. After looking at five slides of the Washington Street Mule Camp moss, and finding mostly nematodes and no water bears and mostly condylostomas and um, a couple of rotifers, I think I shall abandon the mule camp moss and put some more sage moss that I have in my little solo cups and let them hydrate and see what they turn up. All right, goodbye to the nematodes. They're going to the garden in the kingdom.